welcome back to my vlog, So Pretty Kitty. Thanks for coming back if you're a subscriber and if this is your first time, this is my sewing vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing. And today I have a very prickly cactus sat next to me because I didn't have any flowers to put on my table. So I shall have to be careful as I lean across not to impale myself on this really old cactus of ours. So today's video is a bit of a makes video and a bit of a plans video and um, I suppose I should start by talking about this wonderful creation I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to call this my ice cream dress because I feel like a uh, Neapolitan ice cream wearing it. Um, I have had this pattern in my stash for ages and ages and so I have to excuse all the bits poking out I never ever get them back in the packet properly. Uh, this is a birder pattern, um, 6664, and I bought it because I just love the styling and really fancied a gingham dress. And I've been looking for the perfect fabric for this dress for ages. I think I must have bought this probably about a year ago, maybe a bit longer. And um, really big pink gingham has been quite tricky to find. This is actually a woven pattern. Um, it's a really simple construction, as you can see on the back, it's very much like a kimono style wrap dress. You've got kimono sleeves, it's absolutely a uh, fantastic beginner make because there aren't that many seams to sew up. I happen to be perusing the Minerva Crafts sale and came across this fabric in the sale and it was two ninety nine a metre. And um, it said... Uh, cotton jersey I think and I thought oh, I don't know this is a wave and pattern will it work but for 2 a meter you can't really go wrong so I ordered three meters along with a couple of patterns which I'll show you in a minute and um, when it arrived I was a bit shocked by the brightness of the pink because I have to admit I'm probably not much of a pink wearer but you know sometimes when you're a creative person you've got this idea and it just won't leave you alone until you scratch that itch and and do it and actually I'm really pleased how it turned out so um, the, the only changes I made to the pattern were to downsize because this is really quite stretchy jersey I didn't want to make the size for my measurements just in case it was too big and baggy although with a wrap dress the, the beauty of it is the fitting is really easy because you're literally just going to tie it tight or looser depending on um, how big the size is when it comes out. So I made a size 10. Um, the nice thing about this pattern is it also has the shirt version as you can see here. Um, obviously that's got a little collar on it. Um, I did wonder whether I should have interfaced the ties because um, they may stretch out over time but you know what I didn't have any interfacing and I just had this idea in my head that I had to make this dress and there was no stopping me so I got on and did it and it and it literally took about I think four hours from beginning to end and um, I didn't even bother tracing the pattern out I was so you know confident that actually the size 10 would be stretchy enough to fit so yeah, this is this is the result. So it's really comfortable. It's almost like a pair of pajamas to wear. It's got these kimono sort of grown on sleeves, which are really easy to sew, like I said. There's a hole in the side seam here underneath, which you can't see, through which you pass these ties. So the, the I actually um, put the hole on the opposite side that the dress pattern suggested but it doesn't make any difference as long as you make sure that the long tie is on the other side. So you feed the really long tie through the hole and wrap it around. It actually goes twice around my waist but at, it, it's really secure. I wore this all day yesterday and there is no chance of me falling out of this dress. I'm worried or worry with wrap dresses that you will bend over and uh, reveal yourself but actually this is really secure. I think because the belt is so wide it's almost like an obi belt so if I stand up a minute you can see that um, it's actually wrapped twice around my waist. There's the little hole underneath there through which the other one goes. So once you've organised the belt and you're happy with how it's sitting on your waist and tie the knot in it 
um, yeah, it worked out really well. It's slightly, ever so slightly see-through. I think that seems to be a bit of a theme with my sewing lately. So yeah, I wear uh, flesh-coloured underwear underneath it just in case. And um, it's just brilliant. Love it. I think I'm going to wear it a lot. It makes me feel very summery. The other thing that I did that was interesting was my sewing machine is a Frista Rossman and for whatever reason it does not like zigzag on stretchy fabric. It's just it uh, won't do it. So I decided to try the stretch stitch which kind of looks a bit like lightning and my machine said yeah I love that. I'll do anything in stretch stitch. So the whole of my um, dress is sewn using stretch stitch apart from the bits where I could just straight overlock where, uh, in, inside the seams of the shoulders for example um, down one side from here to here I've overlocked and then the other side because you have to leave the gap and top stitch I sewed that on my sewing machine and then um, overlocked the seam allowances but yeah it was an experiment that worked out well I think and um, I've had lots of compliments on it and I think I will wear it lots so that's the main thing. The next thing I make, so my last video talked about my knicker obsession having watched the Stitch Sisters video all about making knickers, the Megan Nielsen Acacia pattern which is a free download and I have made a pair of knickers, I have to be honest, uh, making the actual knicker body is takes seconds it's really quick, very easy, especially if you overlock the seams. Um, it's the elastic, the application of the elastic that takes the time. And I imagine I'll probably get better at it the more I do, because like neck bands, you know, they take practice. Um, but all uh, different elastics have different amounts of stretch in them. So if you follow the pattern and cut the elastic to what they suggest you need, it very much depends on how stretchy the elastic is as to whether or not it's going to work. So I think what I need to do is actually measure myself and then cut the elastic, you know, slightly shorter than that measurement because the first pair of pants, knickers, pants, you, I made um, here, uh, turned out quite well other than the fact that my sewing machine would just flatly refuse to sew the elastic on using a zigzag stitch and I hadn't at that point discovered the stretch stitch otherwise it probably would have been a lot easier but it just kept on skipping stitches and um, I had to stop and restart again and by the end of making them I really started to wonder whether actually is life too short to make your own knickers it could be so I had a bit of a haul and it's a free haul so that doesn't count that does not count as um, buying fabric because I was given it so that's the best kind of fabric this fabric was given to me by a friend of my uh, of ours that runs a um, upholstery workshop which I will put the website address of um, so she is really awesome does lots of teaching of upholstery and not really a dressmaker so when she was given some really nice fabric she thought of me so that's nice of her and I have got lots of it and it's reignited my desire to make these ultimate trousers. So I don't know, have any of you guys made ultimate trousers before? Because trousers in general have been my nemesis really. I just cannot get the fit right and I know that they are notorious for being tricky to make trousers but I think I've got the best chance with these ones because I did make a toile and they, I think the crotch length is wrong on, on this pattern for me. So I have been investigating ways to correct that on the pattern and I think having watched a YouTube video last night, I might have an idea how to make them work. So I've still got my toile all made up. And what I'm going to do is try and alter or shorten, I need to measure myself first, um, try and shorten the crotch length if, if that's the reason why I'm getting excess fabric at the front and hopefully make myself some ultimate trousers in these fantastic stretch cotton sateen fabric. This one has got cream butterflies all over it and I've got lots of this. I think there must be at least four metres of that. So I'm thinking um, either ultimate trousers or 
uh, another sort of dress. I have to be careful because I am, if I'm honest, I'm not really a massive dress wearer. I'm much more of a chuck on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt kind of a girl. So maybe I ought to make some shorts out of these instead because perhaps I'd get a bit more wear out of that. But yeah, I was really pleased with that one when I was given it. And also in the same haul was this one with tiny little hearts all over, all navy background, which I love navy. Um, it's got a nice small amount, I think it's probably only 2 or 3% elastane because it's only got a tiny amount of stretch in one direction but I'm assuming that that will mean that they'll be perfect for trousers because they'll have a little bit of give but also um, hopefully they won't um, stretch out and bag, you know, I don't want a baggy bum, I've said that before. And the last piece is just a really nice navy spot. So, yeah, I was I, I felt very lucky to be given so much lovely fabric. I think there's at least a couple of meters of that one. Um, and like I said, I am on the case. I need to alter this pattern because I think once I get once I crack it, I will make lots of pairs of these trousers. I know that they come together quite quickly once you start sewing, so, and I'm much more of a trouser person than a dress person. Um, so I have also bought some patterns uh, because there was a sale on, and who can resist a sale, especially when the patterns are half price. So I will show you the ones I picked out. So Simplicity, um, had a half price sale on. I don't know if actually it might still be on at the moment but whilst I was on Minerva Crafts website I picked up some new patterns thinking about what I'm going to make come the end of the year really. This pattern I liked because I'm quite keen on asymmetry in clothes. This one sort of caught my eye more than this one. I'm not a massive fan of asymmetric hems but I do like it when there are closures on the opposite side of clothes. So I'm thinking this view here, view C, looked quite nice. I don't know if you can, it's a dark color, so you can't really tell. The line drawing doesn't really tell you much either. But anyway, I thought it was worth a try for half price. It looked, looked pretty good, about three pounds, I think, that pattern. And then I bought, uh, again for the winter months, this new look pattern. Um, 6298 which is a jumper dress pattern and I kind of liked all the styles on here really but particularly view D again this one here so um, yeah I thought I might give that a try and then because I had such great success with my wrap dresses I thought what well, it can't hurt to have another wrap dress pattern in your arsenal can it so this is New Look uh, 6301 and there's a couple of different styles on there and also a fuller skirt and a straighter skirt so sleeveless, three quarter length sleeves. I quite thought, I like the pattern in terms of the line drawing, um, the styling is not very good on this pattern, he, you know, he, so come on you people, who designs these things? What young woman wants to wear a brown drab dress like that? Not me. I'm sure they'd sell more patterns if they put funkier clothes on the front. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I've got that one. And then this one is for my daughter, my eldest daughter. So we're very much into the tween pattern category now and a jumpsuit for the summer. So I'm thinking this one here uh, with the shorts at the bottom uh, because she really enjoys the jumpsuit that I made her. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you that one. Perhaps I should do another kids video. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed yet, please press the subscribe button. I think the last time I looked, I was nearly at 500 subscribers and I might start thinking about maybe a bit of a giveaway um, I really like to get to a thousand that would be awesome but um, thanks so much for watching if you like my video please press the thumbs up and um, I'll see you next time thanks bye